Welcome guys, finally got around to making another video, uh, finally had enough time to sit down and look at the airships. Uh, airships is currently in early access and you can grab it for $5 on the Zura. Um, as with all the early access releases, keep in mind that it's currently not finished, that it will have more content on release, uh, might still have bugs, etc, 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 you know the deal. Um, the game currently, uh, the game revolves around uh, building airships and using uh, smart layout design decisions to uh, make deadlier airships and then take over enemy cities for uh, the main game. There's also some online multiplayer modes and combat modes which I'm not going into, mainly because I have no one to test it with. But uh, the core of the game are the editors, which I'm going to explain in a minute, and currently the um, campaign. So let's just uh, start it up. Game setup, Catwick. I want... More income, fires put out twice as quickly. Let's just take the fires because fires are always but in the hours in every game. Start. This is uh, the window of the main campaign, which I should pause because otherwise uh, the enemies will kick my butt. Um. A cute touch that the layout. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure whether um, the layout of these maps are somewhere safe. That means just uh, the game is choosing different ones when you start them up. But it's kind of a cute touch that uh, these maps seem randomized every time with their layouts and the trees and kind of cute. Anyway, that's just a backdrop. What we need to do in this mode is where's my? I'm starting here is um, building ships, uh, sending out your ships, and uh, defending your own bases. Um, the tricky part about this is that uh, if you build ships you need to take care of that your cities that you're currently having are not being completely neglected because otherwise uh, the enemies will come to you and uh, take over your cities, which can be quite a pain in the arse if you're not multi-managing um, multitasking your um, ships and seeing and uh, putting them there where they need to be. Currently I'm not being attacked so I'll take a look at what ship I'm having at the moment. This is the editor mode. As you see there's a lot of shit going on and it might seem overwhelming at first but it's actually pretty easy which is uh, a point I will go into after uh, I played it a bit. So let's just take a look at what the game is actually offering here at the moment. These are just options to um, build, save and open the layouts. This is an overview of what the ship is currently entailing, which means um, if I build a new ship there would be a number up here, uh, how much it would cost to build the ship. If and if I, because I currently already have the ship, it doesn't cost anything to rebuild it basically. And if I put an ammo store here, it will now cost uh, $33 to refit the ship with the new layout. Uh, maintenance is, uh, I don't even know what else, every month, every week, whatever. You'll pay $16, uh, which is subtracted, uh, subtracted from your income that you get from the cities. Uh, the weight limit is something that you need to take care of because you need to have uh, rooms which are called suspension chambers which can lift you up in the air by uh, using up coal. Uh, the more you have of those, the, um, the higher you can uh, put your ship. What else? Uh, how fast? How long it will take to turn the crew. And this is the list of stuff that you can buy. 
One thing that is interesting about the campaign mode is that yeah, there are a few things that you can unlock while going through the campaign. Basically think of it as uh, taking over other cities and taking their technologies which you can in turn put into your ships, ship designs. Which is a neat um, idea for uh, to give a sort of progression to the player. Uh, the only thing I'm currently taking an issue with is that there isn't really too much. I mean, if you look at the list, it seems a lot, but a lot of those are duplicates for left and right. And most of the rooms that you have on here will be rooms that you want to have in every ship. Like, you can't have a ship without coal because you need coal to keep your ship up in the air, for example. And that severely limits um, the kind of different designs that the game allows you to do. I mean, you could do crazy weird stuff like uh, these guys up here in a tower and, you know, just go wild. But um, the basic core concept of the game and how the basic ship modules are being built is not all that different. There are some small elements that you need to take care of. For example, the this is the coal room, and the suspension chamber, and the what is it called? Propeller. Both need coal to uh, work. The problem is that the coal room does not contain infinite amounts of coal. So if you have more rooms that require coal, you might need to include more of those coal rooms. And the coal rooms, on the other hand, should be close to those because the your little units, crew members, actually need time to transport the coal to the rooms. And if you build a totally nonsensical ship layout like I did in the beginning, uh, then your ship might not even get enough coal to keep itself up in the air. And that is actually rather smart, that there are some some design decisions that can totally fuck you over, but will make a meaningful impact on your ship design. So that's smart. The downside of what this whole thing is, that there are not so many of them, and the ones and these decisions and the decisions that are there are pretty easy to solve, and you'll eventually just um, solve them without even thinking because you just do that, and then it's the standard for all of your layouts. For example, the goal in between the propeller and the suspension chamber. Um, there is. The, there are some other elements that um, we need to take care of, um, which should be uh, self-explanatory once the game um, throws them at you once. For example, fires, which can happen if your ship is being shot at. And those fires, in turn, need to be put out by your crew members. Uh, and from the fire bay. But maybe I'll just show you that later. Uh, another thing for the ships is that it can have armor. Currently it only has wood armor, which is not very resistant. You can change it to brick, stone, steel, whatever. And what I am going to do is... No, don't, don't, don't. I wanted to build a ship and keep that ship here for defense purposes. Now I accidentally sent that ship to another city, which means it will attack that city, and my own city is currently without any sort of defense. Well, actually, that's not quite true because you not only have ships. Oh, I just aborted it. I have no clue how, but I aborted the move. Great. 
Uh, anyway, what I wanted to get at is you don't only have the ships that you can build, but also city defenses. Which in this turn is this cute, uh, which in my case is this cute little thing with uh, three cannons and some quarters. Oops. Uh, this won't provide much defense. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to. At least add some cannons, so that it will have some more firepower. Nobody needs you. Why would I shoot in that direction? Weird. Uh, while that is being built, I don't have any defenses other than my ship, and I currently cannot buy build ships so I'm just going to form at the time until my defenses are built. And while I did that, um, some other nation attacked my hometown because they noticed that I don't have any defense. But my ship should be strong enough to fend off that danger. As you can see here, the ships are not only, don't only need to be built, but they also have um, these these little orders that you can give them. Uh, I didn't quite understand all of them yet, but the most important one is just to move, because your ship has um, the weapons, and every weapon can only fire in a certain direction and angle, and you basically need to position yourself in a way so that your weapons are actually effective. That's a cute way to keep uh, the player busy, but it's not too strenuous to actually take care of. As you just saw, I need to constantly uh, readjust the position of my ship because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to attack the enemies. I can't look into my building. Maybe it would be a nice idea to actually have a build uh, one of those command centers there. Um, but I'll do that later. Stop. I want to build a ship because we have we don't have enough money, but. Uh, I know it doesn't make much sense now because we don't have enough money. So let's just wait for the next attack. It's really cute how they are sort of uh, simulating um, the impact, like um, the hits have a certain stray angle when they are being shot because they are not totally accurate, and wherever that hit is landing, uh, it will hit the uh, room that's beneath it and might even uh, create a fire there. And if you are being hit in, for example, the room with the coal, then you really have uh, a big issue because that's apparently not a good place to be hit and might um, get your plane down faster than if it's being hit in one of the other rooms. Anyway, I wanted to stop.
and go to ship. So that's uh, one of the ships I built in an earlier playthrough. I only tried it once before and wasn't too terribly successful because I wasn't thinking of defending my hometown, which was a bad, bad, bad decision. Anyway, um, what I was with my ship, I was basically building everything that I currently have, like a lot of cannons, uh, suspension chambers, two of them, because the ship is very heavy, and so I need more, more suspension chambers to keep it up. Uh, two crew quarters, two, two bridge, two coastal. By the way, it's really cute that you can look at the um, layouts and then check here what it's actually what those chambers actually are, because they are being explained with the tooltip. Very handy if you're just starting out and try to see how the examples look like. Anyway, um. The fire point, etc., etc. This is for structural integrity, so that my ship is being hold, held together or something. As I said, I was just building everything in that ship and see how it comes together. Um, so let's just try to build it and continue with our time. Currently, Retropolis is not being defended by ships, so that might be a good way to start my first attack wave. I'm currently doing $83, getting $83 plus, and now that I have another ship, it's only $21 because I'm paying uh, $15 maintenance for that ship. And I am going to send my new destroyer up to Retropolis and see how it's doing in a fight. And apparently I sent the wrong ship. Which was stupid. Or maybe I'll just wait until I have enough money then I build another one of my Toma ships now I'm just, because I already tried it before and the game seems rather easy but maybe it's just a beginner thing that uh, you can still lose easily and I we we'll now send two ships. To Metropolis. Trying to take that over. No, why did I send three? I only wanted two. Uh some reason I, I can't figure I can't go back in the video now, but I'm pretty sure that uh, one of the ship icons was staying at my hometown. I'm not. I have no clue why there are not three ships here. So that is annoying because now my hometown is being is not defended again. If someone attacks me, I'm screwed. Surprise, I won. And that is currently one of the issues I have with the game. I mean, fitting out, I mean, you didn't see me working on that ship layout because I did it on an earlier playthrough. But um, working on the ship layout is actually quite fun. The problem with the actual game I am currently having is that it seems like you can solve anything by just brute force. 
and I'm not sure how good of an idea that is. Uh, because it does make for a rather straightforward approach to this whole thing. I mean, currently the AI also seems to be very bad. I can't remember changing the difficulty, but from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 opponents, only one opponent has currently ships now, 2 right now, 3. Okay, so they are rebuilding ships now. But most of the opponents just didn't have any ships, so you could just fly there and take the cities over. So that's not too challenging. Anyway, I am taking over that city, because after I have the city, I will... Um, what did I get? Cheap steel. Which means my steel armor costs now 50% less. And apparently Catwick is being attacked by Black Spire. Those seem to be really strong. They already have three cities, so I should probably take care of them soon. I will stay here. I only need one. And that one ship will fly to Catwick. And in Catwick. Well, I could show you how the building works, because I wanted to build some more defenses anyway. Um, once I build them now, I will not be able to use them right away, because um, it takes a few days, in-game days, uh, until it's being built. So I won't be, use that, be able to use that for the next fight, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't matter much. So let's build a new building. I need a cockpit. Apparently the names of the rooms are the same for defenses and for um, ships, which is kind of weird, but has the same functionality, so they I can look into my own building. I think I didn't build it in a defense yet. Anyway, the ammo is the ammunition. Uh, the rifleman, and this is the room for ammunition, and if that's empty, um, my my units can't fire anymore, so it's important to sort of calculate how much uh, firepower you have and how much ammunition that might need. Uh, these are the weapons, and to fire the weapons, I would of course need quarters. Because otherwise there's no one to operate my weapons. And the nice thing about those small weapons, how much damage do they do? Nine. And those do forty. The nice thing about the small weapons is that they have a huge radius. They can basically always attack. But the cannons have way higher power, but they only have a small radius. So they are not uh, always the best um, decision. So it's not always the best decision to uh, build the weapon with the highest firepower, especially in the defenses, which you can't move once they are on the ground. Anyway, I got the ammo. I got the repair bay. Wouldn't be a bad idea because then units could repair uh, anything that happened and broke. Same with the fire extinguisher. Now let's just put more. More weapons here. And I don't have enough dudes currently working. So I need more working quarters. Uh, for the uh, design, there's also one other thing which was a real uh, kind of a cute touch once I noticed. This guy can currently not access his room because he is attached to 
um, this room, which is only like um, on the upper level, and there's no way to move there. So that is really cute. So you can only uh, move around on the lower levels. Maybe you can build stairs or whatever later on. Um, rifle guy, rifle guy. All right, same thing. He can't access. Uh, the room from that side, so you can't build it here. Maybe, maybe cannon. I'm not sure how useful that cannon will be because of the radius thing. So let's just put more those. That will cost me 23 maintenance. Holy crap! That's a lot. Should get rid of Q that I crew that I don't necessarily need, and now I'm down to 11 maintenance. Yeah, so that's way better. Okay, connected. Save. Just going to be my iron fort. Now it's going to be tower two. Save. Build. Build. And as I said, I can't use it right now for the next fight, so I hope they won't kill me completely. That looks rather bad, to be honest. Looks like a huge ship, and my ship might not be able to handle this. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's very bad. Five cannons on deck. I'm also not quite sure how I like the activity of the game, especially during these sequences. Like currently there's not much to do. I can just hope and pray that my ship will survive, which it probably won't. And it's kind of hard to actually know and plan these fights because you can't judge it properly. Like I had no clue which of those sides would win right now in that fight. Which is kind of weird because you see an enemy which might have certain ships, and then you have no way to judge. Or well, it does maybe as a beginner you have no way to judge uh, what kind of ships you would actually need to build to counter his ships. Yay! I won. No, I didn't yet. But soon, because apparently we hit his gravity room. and my ship doesn't have enough. Doesn't have any ammunition anymore. Uh, no, wait. Go, go away. Uh, damn it. Uh, what just happened was that the ship that I was ordering previously to go to my hometown to defend it uh, now arrived after it was taken over by the enemy, so I'll need to fight the tower again to get my uh, apartment, uh, my, my city back. Which might actually work, because those ships seem to be rather strong. So now I got that back and I want to build defenses.
and I want to build that one. And leave. Now I have only two ships, but I have another city. Which in the meantime could build what kind of defenses do I have in that city? Nothing. Well then I certainly also want the defense in that city. And then wait a while to have enough money to build another ship. Now I can build a ship, which is going to be... It's kind of weird how that... how it's not saving it properly. Um, you can build a ship from that menu and then have the list of those ships that are available to you. But, which is which does not include my Toma ship, but if you create a ship, open the layout. I think my Toma ship just went away for some weird reason. Can't build it anymore. So I need to rebuild it. Well, that's a bug for you, and that bug kind of sucks because you might spend quite a few minutes on building a decent ship layout which you are fond of, which I currently was of my Toma ship layout and then it's just gone well that sucks really does oh now it's back again That seems incredibly weird, and I have no clue what's going on. Anyway, let's build another one of the ships. And then one of those ships should be enough to take over this spot here, because there is no ship defense and only a miniature uh, tower, so let's just take that over. My city can speed that up because I should have no issue winning this one. So that's now my city, and the advantage of the city would be massive stone walls. Okay. What else can we do right now? No defenses anywhere. Oh, the Grey Towers. Grey Towers do have a uh, ship there, so I don't detect those. But... All the others I could attack, and I will attack. Build another Toma. Attack, attack. Move. Just happened. Was that ship destroyed or something? No. I don't quite know why I just couldn't uh, attack the city before I built that stupid ship. But since it already built it. Oh, now I know what happened before. Uh, I'm so stupid. I probably didn't have enough money to build the Toma 1 or the Wanton. So it only showed me the ships that I could build uh, for the money I had. Ah, stupid. Okay, so it wasn't a bug. And I gotta admit that, with, except for that one thing where I thought it was a bug, I didn't see any bugs at all, apparently. So... I want another one. We eventually attack Catwick. And currently I am on negative balance, which is not good. Not good at all. Hmm. 
Let's quickly take over the next city and then we should have enough money. If we can actually uh, win, because this might be close. Great, so the first ship is gone. I'm stupid, I shouldn't have tried to fly towards my own ship, I probably was hurting myself there. And they don't have enough coal anymore, so they probably won't be able to keep themselves up for ages. No, wait. You could probably do some clever uh, things with the positioning. Shit. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, you can probably do some clever stuff with the positioning uh, if you uh, position ships right next to each other. So only the first ship might be hit or something, and you alternate between positions. I don't have any ammunition anymore. So I don't think there's any way I can actually win these fights. Which also tells me that I need another ammunition chamber. And oh, I won! Ah. Anyway, it still tells me that I need another ammunition chamber in these ships. So let's best rectify that as soon as possible yes please attack me ah, I forgot to build the tower here Let's just do a quick resolve. Hmm. Anyway, uh, currently I'm not making any money at all. Just not too hot. And I sort of need to get rid of one of my ships. Because not making any money is not good. Let's refit this ship with another ammunition chamber. Um, what happens now? Ah, so they are reconstructing it. Now they reconstructed my ship. And now I could use it to take over another city, which is probably the best course of action, or maybe just taking 
No, that is not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. That sounds doable. That looks doable. I mean. Hopefully I now have enough money again so that I'm actually running something and I should be should have enough. Good. Well anyway, um that's the main part of the game. And as you see, uh, I mean I did play around with it before so I actually uh understood a little bit how the ship layouts work. Um but I should have no issue, no big issue finishing the campaign soon. Which means there isn't too terribly much content yet. Especially because um, the ship layouts aren't all too diverse. I mean you could technically build any layout you want. But most of the layouts wouldn't make too much sense, especially if there are some combinations like the coal right next to the propeller and um, the suspension chamber um, that just make too much sense not to do them. But there's still the element of sort of something not being optimal and then you can still tweak it like I just did with the other ship where I was building another, I mean it doesn't look pretty, but where I was building another ammunition chamber so it won't run out on ammunition during the next fight like it did in the one before. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I will finish that rather soonish. But... Uh, and yeah, it seems like there isn't too much content in that campaign yet. I'm, I don't think, I'm not sure whether there's anything after that map, but I don't think there will be and I'll just seem overpowered anyway once I have all these notes. But there's probably quite a bit of um, not replay value, but you know, any actual value in the other modes, especially if you're trying to build airships around certain limitations for multiplayer combat. That could actually be quite fun. Um, but I don't have anyone around to play it with right now, so I can't show that. Anyway, uh, the game is currently for uh, available for five dollars, which seems fair to me. It's not. I mean, the game definitely has some potential, and I'm really looking forward to what the developers eventually put in. My biggest problem currently is that there is simply not enough. I mean, there needs to be more, more of everything, more choices, more, more elements that could be integrated, but don't need to be like uh, the fire doors at the moment, which you don't need in a ship, but they will help uh, spreading or not spreading the fire everywhere. And they really need more of that. They need more variety for weapons, more, more anything really. And it's currently still in early access, as I said, so I'm sure there will be more eventually. Um, was there maybe another criticism, criticism that I should mention? Well, as I just said, it's a bit straightforward, even though it's really fun tinkering around with the elements. Uh, so yeah, I think that was basically the gist of it. Uh, if you liked what you saw and you like tinkering around with uh, certain layouts and elements, you probably should like this early access offer too. But as I said, maybe consider it more of an investment in the future uh, based on the strong foundation that developer put out here compared to uh, thinking that this might be a 
game to put dozens of hours in right now. It still is a cool concept and a cool execution of the game, so looking forward to further updates. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and we're going to see you later.